So this is a story, a true story. All my stories are true. When I had Home Sweet Home, there was a boy who came to me for Shabbos. They all did that. And then, and then afterwards, I would send them to friends, people in the neighborhood who were the hosts. So I, I sent this kid to a good friend of mine who lives right near me. Chash of a person. And he didn't tell me that he was having that Shabbos another boy who he was working on for two years in Partners in Torah or Eish Torah and being Makar of this boy from Ichves, I don't know, Atlanta, Georgia, or something like that. And after two years of being Makar of him, he was coming to have his first Shabbos at this person's house. And he figured, what could be better? You have this off the derech home, sweet homeboy, two for the price of one. And then you have this boy off the derech being Makar of Kir Ruchaykim. What could be better? So, he had them both at the Shabbos table. In the middle of the meal, by the soup, the boy says, from Atlanta, he says, wow, it's Shabbat, it's beautiful. You know what it's like, if you don't experience it, it's unbelievable, serenity, the children around the table, the, the malchus stick of food, you dress up, you shower, he never experienced it in his life. Shabbat, it's amazing, it's beautiful. The other kid goes, are you kidding me? Shabbos stinks. It's the worst. You're stuck. You can't do anything. You can't watch. You can't this. You can't that. It's a bunch of rules. And my friend's like, like soup flying everywhere. A couple of minutes later, by the main dish, the guy from Atlanta goes, he looks up. He says, oh, that picture. Is that your rabbi? He looks like an angel. The other kid says, Oh, rabbis are molesters. They're the worst. They threw me out. They don't care about you. And he gives a whole rant against rabbis. Much easier to be Makar of Rechaikim. They had no negative experience with Orthodox Judaism. They didn't grow up in our Mises and get thrown out and feel all these terrible feelings towards us. They weren't hurt. They weren't traumatized by from people. So that's Kirov Rechaikim. Our kids is Kirov of the Harbei Yoyse Rechaikim. We call her Rechaikim Shabbat we have to do so much more and we can't even show them and teach them because they grew up with it and it doesn't work for them. Much harder. True story.